I'm Steve for This Hook With Cars, and today I'd like to tell you how I brought the world's bus community together, and strangely, how I ended up starting what was called the Schoolie Wars, and how I ended up winning that war. To start this story, we need to go back to August of 2002, when I bought a 1972 International Harvester Lodestar 1603 with a Ward school bus body on it. I started working on the bus, building things, fixing things, and since I like to make websites, I decided why don't I make a blog and share what I'm doing with this bus with everyone who's interested. And if you would have gone to schoolie.net over the next year, you would have seen this website. I had information about what was in my bus. I posted up my floor plan. But the most exciting thing on the site were the pictures that I was posting of my progress. Every time I was working on the bus, I was posting up new pictures and sharing what I was working on. Very similar to what I'm doing today on YouTube. This was a very simple website, a far different website from what schoolie.net is today. I was sharing things about my own bus, and for bus information, I was going to the Yahoo group. On March 18, 2003, I joined the Yahoo group school bus conversion nuts. Once I was signed up, I received this email in my inbox. Welcome to Schoolie Conversion Nuts group. If you're joining to ask about insurance, yada yada. So apparently a lot of people were coming in and asking about how do I insure my school bus now that I've converted it to a motorhome. And as you can see, there's a lot of capitalized letters here and uh, seems like the moderator of this group does not like people coming in and asking questions about insurance. And just looking at this email, I think you can tell that things are not going to go well. The Yahoo group School Bus Conversion Nuts was a wealth of information. It had thousands and thousands of topics of information. A lot of the people in this group have been living in their buses full time for years, if not decades. If you had a question, someone on here probably had an answer. But there was a problem, and that was the moderator. School Bus Conversion Nuts was run by a guy going by the name of Arkansas Cajun. I believe he was living in his bus full time. This was one of the first school buses I saw that had a huge solar panel array that could power everything inside the bus and be able to boondock for as long as he wanted to. So obviously Arky, as we refer to him as, had a wealth of knowledge of converting a school bus and living in it. There was only one problem. Arky got angry very easily. He hated when people asked questions that had already been asked before. And you could not disagree with him in the Yahoo group, or he would get extremely angry, calling you names, saying vulgar words, or banning you completely. But things on the group were not all that bad. On May 24th, 2003, one of the most enthusiastic people on RV bus conversions, Ben Rosender, sent me an email and told me how much he had wished he had known about my bus when he had wrote his last book. Ben and I quickly became friends and wrote each other often. I even got to have my bus included in his next book about bus conversion floor plans, which you can still find for sale on Amazon today. Arky was making it difficult to be involved with the School Bus Conversion Nuts Yahoo group, and it sparked the idea in my head that I could use my website skills to create a better community. Ben was one of the first people I emailed about my project. I started the new website with a four-part plan. First and foremost, I was going to provide links to every School Bus Conversion related webpage that I could find. Secondly, I was going to run something that was relatively new to people at the time, an internet forum, where we could easily post topics and communicate with each other. Ironically, one of the problems with the Yahoo group was finding information that had been posted before, like how do you insure your school bus. The forum software would make it very easy to search the content and find the topic that you're looking for. Thirdly, I was going to make it easy to share your school bus page with everyone else. Websites like Bitly won't come around for another five years. So in order for people to easily share their web page, I was running my own domain name server so that you could, for example, have your website be martin.schoolie.net 
which would then redirect everybody to your page hosted on whatever hosting company you wanted to use. And lastly, I installed gallery software. In 2003, there were not a lot of places to upload your pictures in order to share them on other websites. So I was providing the extra hard drive space on the schoolie.net server so that everyone could upload the pictures of their buses and share them wherever, including the Yahoo groups. By December of 2003, schoolie.net was reborn into what people think of schoolie.net as today. In fact, a lot of my original features are no longer available on the schoolie.net website, but there are much better solutions for those things today. The website became a huge success. Many people who were on the different Yahoo groups joined my website. And anyone who was looking for information on school bus conversions in a Google search would find my website over the Yahoo groups. Schoolie.net quickly became the largest school bus conversion community in the world. As you can guess, this upset the moderator of the School Bus Conversion Nuts Yahoo group. And shortly after revamping my website, I was banned from access, along with many other members who had joined my website. As the years went by, a few more School Bus Conversion Yahoo groups popped up, usually created by old members of the School Bus Conversion Nuts group, who had been fed up with Arky's antics. All of the Yahoo groups, as well as Schoolie.net, were gaining members and were compiling a huge library of information. We were bringing all of this information and knowledge together. We were helping build the hobby of bus conversions and unfortunately, in 2006, my friend and friend of many in the community, Ben Rosender, dropped out of being able to post on the groups and the forum and later on passed away. I made a lot of friends in the community, some of whom even stopped by as they were traveling across the country. After about six years of being involved with the school bus community, in June of 2009, I thought it was time to move on and I bought my second bus, a 1960 GMC PD4104 coach. At the time, I thought this was a great move. This thing had everything that you would find in a motorhome. It had air brakes. It had a two-stroke Detroit diesel engine in the rear, and for a couple months, I kept upgrading the bus and making it better. But in the end, one of the requirements for my bus was to pull a race car behind it. And with the design of this bus, it was not practical to add a trailer hitch that could support pulling a car trailer behind it. So I sold the GMC later that year. But before the GMC was even gone, I had already purchased another bus, my 1985 Bluebird Wander Lodge. All I had to do was fly out to Ohio and drive it back. This bus also needed a lot of work, and I set off to fixing it and upgrading it. Eventually, after four years of punishing anyone who mentioned that there was school bus information outside of the School Bus Conversion Nuts Yahoo group, Arky finally joined Schoolie.net under the handle Who That. He never made it public who he was on Schoolie.net. He made it look like he was someone who was defending Arky. But we all knew who he was, and I guess he didn't know that I could go into the system and see his email address and where he was posting from. Fast forward another three years and I was contacted by Andy who was running an online community similar to mine but for Airstream trailers. He wanted to purchase schoolie.net and bring it over to his web server and combine it with his community. We emailed back and forth and I sent him the stats of the schoolie.net website but at the time I was still enjoying doing schoolie.net and this was my baby and I didn't really need the money, so things just fell through and we never finished the deal. Amazingly, in 2013, I was still hearing reports of people from the Yahoo group. Arky's methods of punishing people had gone to the extreme, and it's amazing that the Yahoo group still hadn't been shut down. In October of 2014, three and a half years later since Andy first emailed me about buying Schoolie.net from me, I had now been running Schoolie.net for over 12 years. I was now two buses removed from doing my own school bus conversion, and running a website of this size was starting to take a toll on me. So in 2014, 
I sold schoolie.net. And Arky's original mother of all school bus conversion nuts group had started to stop getting discussions and being useful after 2011. By the time I had sold schoolie.net, there were no longer posts being added to Arky's school bus conversion nuts group. But that little website that I created over 20 years ago is still going and still going strong. In fact, all of the information and posts that were made 20 years ago are still there. That little website currently has 46,294 members with 483,089 posts. That is incredible. Almost 2,000 of those posts are from myself, the only member to have joined Schoolie.net in the year 2002. And whatever happened to the Arkansas Cajun? I don't know. Maybe he's out there living his best life on his bus down in Arkansas, but we will probably never know. In February 2020, Yahoo Groups was finally closed down. All of the groups were deleted and all of the information that was contained in them went by the wayside. My last post was in November of 2014, notifying everyone of the largest changes to be made to the website in its history. This wasn't my only website and I was still running my other automotive related websites, but those are stories for another day. Even though I haven't posted on schoolie.net in a long time does not mean that I'm done helping with school bus conversions. In fact, right now I have this bus here at my shop and I'm helping a friend figure out how to convert this properly. It's possible I might even do a couple videos on this conversion. If you'd like to see something like that, comment below and click subscribe.